Hello everyone, we are doing this magic practice. We finished 28 days practice, but it is the last two chapters, so we are going to do it. So today's chapter is your magical future. So what is there in our magical future? Let's see. You are the builder of your life. Yes, we all are. And gratitude is your magical tool to build the most incredible life. So I'll read it again. You are the builder of your life and gratitude is your magical tool to build the most incredible life. You have now laid a foundation through these magical practices and with the tool of gratitude, you are adding more floors to the building of your life. Your life will climb higher and higher until you touch the stars. So just think that sky is the limit. We can do anything and everything. We are so powerful and this gratitude practice is the most important practice. There is no end to the heights you can reach with gratitude and there is no end to the magic you can experience like the stars in the universe. It's infinite, my God. To speak gratitude is courteous and pleasant. To enact gratitude is generous and noble but to leave gratitude is to touch heaven. So important. It's by Johannes A. Gartner, professor, theology, and poet. I'll read it again. To speak gratitude is courteous and pleasant. To enact gratitude is generous and noble, but to leave gratitude is to touch heaven. So we if we can practice gratitude all the time, that we become gratitude, then we are in heaven. We don't have to look for heaven at all. Then we are in heaven, this life only. This very moment, we, we, are, we can be in heaven if we can practice gratitude more and more and more and live by it. The ideal way to move forward from here is to maintain the foundation of gratitude you have built and gradually keep building on it through increasing your depth of feeling. The more you practice gratitude, the deeper you will be able to feel it. And the more deeply you feel it, the less time you will need to give to it. As a guide, three days a week of remember the magic or combining it with two other magical practices of your of your choosing should maintain your current foundation of gratitude and keep building the magic in your life so that your life continues to get better and better for example you might choose to do remember the magic on the day magical relationship on the second and magic money on the third day it's just a guide four days a week of remember the magic or incorporating it with three other magical practices of your choosing will maintain your gratitude and accelerate the magic five days a week of remember the magic or incorporating it with Four other magical practices of your choosing will dramatically increase your happiness and the magic in every area and circumstances of your life. Six or seven days a week of remember the magic or incorporating it with any other magical practices of your choosing and you will become the true alchemist. Wow! Who can turn everything into gold? Who wants to be, be an alchemist? I want. Okay, next is magic practice recommendations. To keep the magic continue in, in the important areas of your life, like your happiness, health, relationships, career, money, and the material things you own, you could do the specific practices for each area once a week however if you want to increase the magic in any area of your life you should give more through an increased practice of gratitude for that area several days a week 
if you are unwell, you will want to do the magical practices for your health every day, if not multiple times a day. The following recommendations will easily guide you toward the magical practices that will have the strongest and the fastest effect in that area. Follow the recommendations in the relevant area for three weeks minimum, doing each recommended practice once a week. So for relationships, it's magical relationships, page 48. Magic dust everyone, page 109. Magically heal your relationships, page 147. The magic wand, page 211. The magic wand practice can be used on people you know using photographs or on people you don't know without photographs. The magic mirror, page 233. Remember the magic, page 238. So now it's about health. Magical health, page 58. Magic dust everyone, page 109. Magic and miracles in health, page 155. The magical air that you breathe, page 205. The magical one, page 211. The magic wand practice can be used on people you know using photographs or on people you don't know without photographs. And remember the magic, page 238. Next is money. Who wants money? Everybody wants money, isn't it? <laughs> magic money, page 66. The money magnet, page 99. If you haven't done the money magnet magical practice before, make sure you complete all steps at least once. If you are repeating this practice, you can jump to step four. The magic check, page 163. The magic one, page 211. The magic mirror, page 233. Remember the magic, page 238. I'm reading the page number, but for 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 the videos, I'll yeah, I'll update with this. What is the that magic money? Which one is magic money? Which one is money magnet? On all those, yeah, I'll update that. Carrier works like magic. Page seventy-four, magic dust, everyone. Page one hundred and nine. The Magic Wand, page 211. Um, the Magic Mirror, page 233. Remember the Magic, page 238. Your Desires. Magic Dust, everyone, page 109. Make all your wishes come true, page 129. Before your very eyes, page 199. The Magic Wand, page 211. The Magic Mirror, page 233. Remember the magic, page 238. Your Magic Rock. You can make the Magic Rock practice a part of your daily life by continuing to keep your Magic Rock by your bedside. I do have on my bedside here. Yeah. And using the time you get into the bed as you remember, as your reminder to be grateful for the best thing that happened that day, you can also carry your magic rock with you in your pocket and every time you touch it, use it as your reminder to think of something you are grateful for. Your magic dust. You can also make the magic dust everyone practice a part of your daily life. Other than sprinkling magic dust over the people who serve you, they, there are many more ways to continue using this practice. You can sprinkle magic dust over everyone and everything. If your boss is a bit grumpy, <laughs> you can secretly sprinkle magic dust over him or her. Wow, that's a good tip, isn't it? You can sprinkle magic dust over a family member or loved one if they are in a bad mood. If anyone you come across who needs some magic in their life, you can also add magic wherever you go. 
and sprinkle magic dust over babies and children, over your plants or garden, your food and drinks, your computer or your mail before you open them, your wallet, car, your phone before you take or make a phone call or over any circumstances that you want to improve. The many applications of magic dust are limited only by your imagination. So you can sprinkle the magic dust anywhere and everywhere. So with these magic practice, so this is the, um, this is, yeah. So we finished this chapter. So next is the last chapter. So we'll do it next. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so grateful that we are doing this magic practice together to create magic in our beautiful, amazing human life. We are so grateful to have this human body and human mind, even though everybody is worried about mind and thinking, but this is our gift. This is gift of this human life and we can create magic. We can create our life with these practices. So these are very, very important. Thank you everyone. See you next time.